Um, I'll say approximately three years because I started from 2008 to 2011 doing my first projects when I was in the university. And I did a short film. I started with the series, then I got involved. Now with Benham Studios in 2010. Um, it has two sides to it. It's tough just because when they give you a lead role, you know that you've gone above the other people who auditioned or you were recommended by somebody. That means they hold you in high esteem. So it's tough to have to live up to the expectation. And also because a lot is expected from the leads because the center of the story is on them. And also the lead has a lot of things to do. So it's tough working, long hours, but the, the result is worth it. Um, it was interesting because Valerie is somebody with, uh, he has a strong personality and I too have one. So it was interesting working by him. I, I learned a lot from him too. He was disciplined and enthusiastic and his character, he brought out his character so well I was scared actually on set. As much as he's been, he's been having lead roles before. I have been involved with like dramas and stuff, so it was interesting. We got together, we worked on the scripts together, and it, it had a perfect result. Eva was the center of everything that was happening. Because everything happened was pointed towards her, the boy getting the girl, him defying his father, Getting rid of her friends, all of that was as a result of Eva's presence. If she had to put the story in place because if she wasn't good, the story wasn't going to really show. Everything, everything, he hap everything that happened, everything he did centered around her. It's surreal. I was say they've been hailing everybody. Oh my God, Jackie Pierre. Oh my God, Magic Michael. And there's like, oh my God, Ruth Britia. Okay, that's me. That's nice. It's very surreal. It's that kind of feeling you say, I don't really believe it's me, and it's actually you. So you're trying to adjust the not believing part with the actual fact that it is. So it's interesting. And it's a nice feeling too, because you're like, oh geez, I'm known. It's interesting because Ashil is a hard worker. He's enthusiastic about the projects he does and as much as he knows he still finds time to study, to improve himself and when he finds a story he either he connects with, he has to do it and direct it if he has to to get it through. He pushes his actors to their limit, encourages them, makes sure they are he makes sure they are comfortable pushing them to make sure they at attain as much as they can get whatever level they can get to during the, in, on the set and also he does a lot of publicity he makes he makes people know what this is about and it's actually not a usual story that's actually what even puts in my head of others it's not a usual story it's not the usual and um, no and fall in love and stuff so it's good Wow, it's interesting because not long ago I was a fan of people and now they are setting me to a fan base. That's good. Um, I talk to I talk to them a lot online, on Facebook, on Twitter. I give them updates and also they tweet their support. And uh, and I would like to tell them thank you for voting. Thank you for encouraging me. And I love you. I can't really get names right now, but my best friends, Ellen, Tiende, and Pamela Dibo, my family, they have all been there for me, and um, the media houses I've worked with is good. I appreciate it a lot, and I want to say, like, keep voting, and I would like to I'll appreciate the studio, Binham Studios, I, I appreciate the crew who worked with me, they were really supportive, 
and my family too, and my best friends who were pushing me and making sure I read my scripts and stuff. So I appreciate everybody and keep voting. We are just repping. It's Kamea's time. I want to appreciate Aram. He's in Paris and um, Empire Company. Just worked with them more recent. Binam Studios, hmm, Alien Rock Foundation. That's Clear Planet Pictures. And M1 Studios and G3, they have been like my family. Entertainment, I really, I heard of him before, I never worked with him, but meeting him for the first time, it was nice. I felt at home, he made me feel at ease. A shout out to Penjo.